Hello everyone. Let us learn how to analyze a parity test. A parity test is applicable only to dependable data. The following question is such dependable data. The question is the weights of 10 people before and after a diet and after a lapse of 6 months are as follows. For the person 1, the before weight was 59 and after weight is 65. For the person 2, the before weight is 62 and after weight is 70. Likewise for other people also, the before and after diet weights are given. We denote the before weight as y and after weight as x. That is before the diet the weight is denoted by y and after the diet the weight is denoted by x. You need to test whether there has been any significant gain in weight as a result of change in that. So, let's define the hypothesis which needs to be tested. To test the null hypothesis H0, mu x is equals to mu y. versus the alternative hypothesis h1 mu y is lesser than mu x that is mu x is greater than mu y that is the claim that we are testing and mu x and mu y are the means of weight before and after the diet. The test statistic for pair t test is root n into z bar by sz that follows a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. And what is z bar and sz and n? n is the sample size of the test. z bar is the mean of z and sz is the standard deviation of z. And what is z? z is the differences between the weights before and after the diet. That is, z is equals to x minus y. That is, if we subtract 65 and 59, then we will get the z for the first person likewise 70 minus 62 is the difference of weights for the second person like this so z is equals to x minus y z bar is the mean of z sz is the sample standard deviation of z. So let's find z. z is equals to x minus y is calculated as follows. So z equals to x minus y is 65 minus 59 that will give 6. For the second person it is 70 minus 62, that will give 8. For the third person, it is 49 minus 48, that will give 1. Likewise, for the other people, calculate the differences. Now let's find z bar. z bar is the mean of the z. So z bar is the total of z 
that is if we add a 6 plus 8 plus 1 plus 3 plus dot 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 minus 2 we will get 25 by the total number of zeds that is 10 that is 10 people 25 by 10 equals to 2.5 and sz is the sample standard deviation of z that is root over 1 by n minus 1 that is 9 into summation z square minus minus n into z bar square will give you the sample standard deviation that is 3.171 summation z square is the sum of square of z that is 6 square plus 8 square plus 1 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 minus 2 square so now find the value of p that is the value of the test statistic the test statistic as we have stated before is root 10 into z bar by z so put the value of n the value of z bar and fz so root over 10 into z bar that is 2.5 by fz that is 3.171 that will give you 2.493 now let's compare this test statistic with the critical value of t. Decision rule is reject the null hypothesis H0 if the test statistic is greater than the critical value of t. At level of significance alpha. Equals to 0 0.05 day. So let's find the critical value of T. The critical value of T. is t alpha equals to 0 0.05 and degrees of freedom n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 9 so from the table we get this value as 1.833 so we can see that 2.493 is greater than 1.833. So we will reject the null hypothesis by the decision rule. So reject the null hypothesis at alpha equals to 0 0.05 so now we can conclude that the weight after the diet have increased significantly that is our claim is true. So in this way we can analyze a PRT test. Thank you.